Yeah. What? A previously a previous save file has been found. Would you like to delete? Would you delete? Would you like to delete your saved data and start over? What happens if I click no? Oh, then it just goes back to that. <laughs> uh, and here I thought that I found a secret thing. I did actually end up downloading this song. Well, I didn't download this song where it goes, Doki Doki. I, I ended up downloading the uh, song that Monica sings at the end. It's so good. I'm addicted to this. And I don't know why. What's up everybody, my name is Game Over, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Last episode was the ending of Doki Doki Literature Club, but that was more of my story ending. In this one, we're going to see all the endings of the game. Uh, we've already seen two of them. There's the good ending, which is the one that I got, and I think that um, Mon when Monica like, deletes everybody and you're in that room with her. I think that that counts as an ending, because you can either choose to delete her, or you can spend- or you can spend eternity with her, because she'll just constantly keep on coming up with new stuff to say. To, new stuff to say. Which I'm going to be exploring more- more into that also in this video. But, yeah, time to start off with the first thing- like, the first ending that I'm going to be showing you guys, and it is the Sayori ending. Which is not what you think. The Sayori ending is accomplished by doing- by deleting all the characters in the file, except for Sayori. I have now done it, and we are now going to see what happens. I click. Oh. We're just gonna keep the same name because I'm bad at coming up with names. Alright. This is a different beginning. Wait, what? Wait, what? This? What is this? Oh no. No. Why is she crying? This can't be, be it. This can't be all there is. What is this? Where am I? Make it stop. Please make it stop. What happened? Oh no. Oh no, please don't tell me. I'm scared to open up the game again because I have a feeling I know what's gonna happen. Well, now no characters exist in the game. No characters exist. So what happens when I open up the game? What happened? I can't do anything. Okay, I have to stop that right there. What happened? Well, I have a few theories. So, you know how at the end of my last episode, uh, Sayori, she knew everything? Like, she took Monica's place and knew that it was just a game. I think that was just what happened, because... With Monica deleted, she became the 
Sayori became the leader of the club. And then, so she had to get all the information that this is just a game, she's not a real person, none of her friends are real, and they are all just having AI thoughts, which is kind of scary when you think about it. Uh, but not only that, but I also deleted Natsuki and Yuri, so she realized that she, without her friends to talk to, even though they're just AIs and they'll just go off their programming, she doesn't have, she's literally all alone with no one. And that scared her so much, and she didn't want to think about it, he, she didn't want any more information to come to her, that she deleted her character file and killed herself. That is actually really creepy when you think about it. That is horrifying. Okay, I need to... I need to... If you guys do not know what I'm doing, I'm going into my spare Doki Doki Literature Club files, and I just need to bring everyone back. And hopefully that just fixes it, otherwise I'm going to spend too much time extracting. Alright, so now everybody's back, if I open up the game, please don't do it again, because that was creepy as all hell. Yay, it's fixed! Okay, so I can literally just bring back whatever files were missing, and then everything's fixed. So, yeah, just letting you guys know, I don't know what I'm doing, so this is kind of just my exploring to find multiple endings. Okay. The next ending that I'm going for is I'm going for the Natsuki ending. So I'm going to need to do a lot, a lot of digging through this game, so I'll be back when I'm near the Natsuki ending. But that's the thing. What was that? That wasn't in... That wasn't the thing last time. Was that because I was choosing Sayori answers? Because all of Sayori's answers, they've been split into Yuri and Natsuki. And Natsuki's stuff is the more happy side of Sayori. Well, um, so she kept on pronouncing herself as bittersweet. So the bitter side has gone to Yuri and the sweet side has gone to Natsuki. But if you choose an answer that was supposed to be for Sayori, but it's actually for them, do you get one of those? I wanna see that. Natsuki's falling asleep on my shoulder. What is... Oh jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? Here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. It's a Snickers... Better? Better. <laughs> Natsuki's sun eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give off. She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing her face with stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, Jake, she's fine. It just happens every now and then. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, why don't we share poems now? That's not what happened last- well, that's not what happened last time that we were reading manga, and you guys saw. Wait guys, before I continue, there's something new that arrived in the folders. It's just like, it's just constantly saying I, 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 like in lowercase i's. I, 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 I. You guys to see this, so I'm gonna move myself all the way down. I hate this. I can't do anything. Nothing. No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would be really, really easy to kill myself right now, but that would mean I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want is for you to hate them. Why is that so hard? This was sent by Monica, wasn't it? This- Monica typed this and sent this to me. Alright, you know what, I'm gonna look through all of my other files to see what comes up, so... Happy Thoughts is the... Deleted Sayori, which I'm very angry. Can you hear me? 
Like, that's a new file. There's a little devil inside all of us. Beneath their manufactured perception, their artificial reality, is a wreathing, twisted mess of dread. Loathing, judgment, elitism, self-doubt, all thrashing to escape the feeble hold of their host. Seeping through every little crevice they can find into their willpower, starving them of all motivation and desire, into their stomach forcing them to drown their guilt in comfort food, or into a newly opened gash in their skin, hidden only by the sleeves of a cute new shirt. Such a deplorable, tangled mess is already present in every single one of them. That's why I chose not to blame myself for their actions. All I did was untie the knot. So... Forcing them to drown their guilt in comfort food. I think that's what Monica did with Natsuki. Like, drowning... Like, she... Something horrible ha must have happened. Or maybe she was telling us about her dad. And what her dad does, but Monica blocked that out. And then, to make her feel better, Monica gave her some food. And that's what uh, Natsuki does. She drowns her sorrows in food. And then, newly opened gash in their skin, hidden only by the sleeves of a cute new shirt. I think, yeah, that's, that's Yuri. It has to be Yuri. Self-doubt. Allison, judgment, loathing. That has to be Sayori. All I did was untie the knot. So when she messed with the code, then the characters just ended up killing themselves. That's, I, I think that's all. There we go. <laughs> These let you guys see me. This is weird, I don't like this. So I think... I think Yuri just likes my poems no matter what I do. Hmm? Well, it's not terrible, but it's pretty disappointing after your last one. I think you're better off not associating with her. Is she talking about Yuri? Are you listening to me? Yuri is a sick freak. That should be obvious by now. Her face is disappearing. What is happening? So just play with me instead, okay? You don't hate me, Jake, do you? Do you hate me? Do you want to make me go home crying? That's blood. The club is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it, please. Just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. It's all I have. Play with me. Play with me. Did Natsuki just snap her neck? Oh my god, that was horrifying, and now I have a special poem. Things I like about Papa. I like when Papa comes home early. I like when Papa cooks cooks me dinner. I like when Papa gives me allowance. I like when Papa spends time with me. I like when Papa asks me about my friends. I like when Papa asks me about anything. Gives me lunch money. Comes home before sundown. Cooks. Gives me privacy, doesn't tell me how to dress, doesn't comment on my friends, doesn't comment on my hobbies, 
comes home without waking me up, keeps food in the house, uses his inside voice, leaves my stuff alone, accidentally drops coins in the couch, is too tired to notice me, is too tired for anything. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. I was right again, wasn't I? Natsuki gets abused by her dad. And also, what's these blanks? Because there's a comma there. It's not a full stop. It's comma. And then there, there's just these blanks. And it just continues on? That was a Natsu that was the Natsuki ending, but it's not the end. Let's see if there's anything in the files. There's nothing. That was just it. Natsuki just stabbed your neck. I know how to treat my club members. Anyway, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's a efficient. Here it goes. Jeez, that really startled me. Um, well, I guess I kind of messed up at, uh, writing this poem. I was just trying, so... Never mind. Let's just move on. What was that? What happens if I say no? Oh no, it's the exact same thing! even worse about because you said no. So wait a minute, there's absolutely no way to save her. It's either she gets overexcited and stabs herself, or she stabs herself from sadness. Or do you actually go- HOW? 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 How do you get my name? No information! Of anything that has anything to do with my YouTube me is on this computer. I don't even upload any of my videos on this computer, and yet somehow she manages to get my name. How? Also, her eyes are very creepy. <laughs> but what? After I do that, then I'm going to see if the characters just magically come back. I think the most important skill in life is being able to fake confidence. I'm pretty convinced that everyone feels at least a little bit scared and alone. But being able to trick others into thinking you have it all together, that's a key part to getting people to respect and admire you. No, that isn't. You've got it completely wrong. Like, this is serious. People don't try to... I know that, like, everybody in the world has something wrong with them, and they're all just hiding their feelings from the world. If you do actually have a problem, or you think that you have a problem, you should definitely try talking to somebody, because chances are you will find a person that is exactly like yourself, and you will find someone to talk to. I found, like, two people that I can gladly talk to about my problems. Uh, then I got diagnosed, and I finally figured out why I'm acting the way that I am, and I, I, before that I didn't understand it, and it tore me apart. Like, no matter how much I, no matter, look, somebody to talk to is great, but unless you actually know what's going on with you, you're not gonna feel that good. Because no matter how, how much I talk to my friends about how weird I am and all that, like, I still couldn't, it didn't feel right, like, it tore me apart that I didn't know what was wrong with me and I couldn't figure out how I could fix me, and I don't know why that I was getting so torn up about it, but I was. Then I got diagnosed and all of a sudden it felt like the world just like lifted from my shoulders. It felt so good, but don't do what Monica's 
don't do what Monica says is good. It's not a good skill. Like, at least talk to somebody about it, then hide it from other people. But this is not how you get people to respect and admire you. I think I got a pretty good, a pretty good at that over the years. I don't show my weaknesses very often. But because of that, I haven't had many people I could really open up to. I mean, when do you do you reach the point in a friendship where you can start expressing your vulnerabilities? Anyway, that's one reason I'm glad I have you now. I feel like I'm a little bit less scared and alone when you're here with me. Do you feel the same way? I really want to be that person for you. Good. Did you know I'm on Twitter? She is? My username is Lilmint3. Oh, I want I wish I could go back. I guess someone was kind enough to make an account for me. I picked the username though. I love sharing my thoughts and chatting with the world. The real world. So make sure you follow me, okay? It would really mean a lot to me. With how much you mean to me and all. It would really make me feel loved. Now I'm actually curious, because I've only just started using Twitter. I'm actually curious what would happen if I typed that up. I don't know if I should do that now though, because I'm still doing a video. There's a really popular character type called Sundere. Sundere, yeah, I already know what Sundere is. It's someone who tries to hide their feelings by being mean and fussy, or trying to act tough. I'm sure it's obvious, but Natsuki was really the embodiment of that. At first, I thought she was just like that because it's supposed to be cute or something. But once I started to learn a little more about her personality life, it made a little more sense. It seems like she's always trying to keep up, keep up with her friends. You know how some friend groups in high school just make a habit of picking on each other all the time? I think it's really gotten to her, so she has this really defensive attitude all the time. And I'm not even going to talk about her home situation. But looking back, I'm glad I was able to provide the club as a comfortable place for her. Not that it matters anymore, considering she doesn't even exist. I'm just reminiscing, reminiscing, that's all. You're such a good listener, Jake. I really love that about you. Sometimes I'm afraid that I'm rambling or talking about boring things. It makes me kind of self-conscious when I'm having conversations. But I don't feel that way with you. Like I don't think anyone else could make me feel this way. You really are special. I don't want anyone to tell you otherwise. <laughs> That's the thing, like, especially around this time, like, especially around these loss, this lot, this year, around this year, I've been told a lot that I'm a legend, which I'm not used to. People keep on calling me awesome. People keep saying that I'm really talented. I'm getting a lot of compliments around this year, way more than the usual that I get when I'm uh, from my other years because I would usually like get five compliments a year and they were and they would be good. But this year I'm having like so many good compliments and I have to I have to thank that to you guys too because the comments have never been more positive. I think I'm raising a pretty good community and if I keep on going at this rate, we might even have a community that, community that people can just come to, join in, and then there will be just live streams where people can just say hi to each other, be nice to each other. And that's what I want out of YouTube. I want everybody to have what I had, or what I felt like I had. Because when I started on YouTube, I would just go from live stream to live stream. Um, just like talking to people, and they were all nice, they were all so nice to me. They were like the nicest people on earth. Shout out to you guys, because you guys know me well. 
Like, it was so much fun talking with them. It, like, made me feel better about myself, even though that, for some weird reason, I still didn't believe a single word that they said. Like, I didn't think highly of myself, which is weird. But yeah, shout out to them, because they made, they made me get the confidence, my, the little amount of confidence that I needed to start YouTube and start this community. And you guys, you guys, I need to thank you guys, too, for subscribing to me and watching my videos, because it's ama it's amazing. This is, this is the beginning of a fire that's gonna burn for the rest of the generations to come. And it's gonna be an amazing channel that people, that, that lots of people will be able to come to and talk to people from all around the world, and it's ju we're just gonna be spreading positivity from now on. We're gonna be spreading that PMA. But anyway, I'm talking too much about stuff that you probably don't even care about. <laughs> I know there are times you won't always be able to be here with me. Like if you need to go out or take care of other things. But I'll always have you in my thoughts, patiently waiting for you to come back. Come to think of it, if you copy my character files onto a flash drive or something, you can always keep a part of me with you. I guess it's kind of unorthodox. But I find it really romantic for some reason. <laughs> Sorry, that's such a silly idea. I don't mean to do... to be too needy or anything. But it's kind of hard when I'm so in love with you. Wait, so she finds, like, me putting her onto a USB drive romantic? I wonder what would happen if I actually did do that. I'm gonna do that right now. <laughs> Alright. So, where is her f Okay. So, characters. Copy. What would happen if I paste? Paste. There you go. There you go. Now, a piece of you is... No matter where, no matter where I go, there's always going to be a piece of you. You guys will not believe what Monica just said. She was remind she was explaining what was happening to Yuri. She just explained the whole entire reason on why her hands were bloody, and she said it in the most awful way possible. Okay, so I'm gonna say this in the way that Monica said it. She said that Sayori stuffed up the hanging of her of herself because she was supposed to jump from a high enough area that the rope would snap her neck. But she just used the chair. So when she jumped, it wasn't a high enough area to snap her neck. Uh, instead, uh, she was just suffocating herself. And at some point, she was... So she was basically just choking herself, and she had the slowest death ever. I cannot believe that she actually said that. But eventually, she had a chain... She changed her mind, and she started clawing at the rope uh until she lost consciousness uh but apparently according to monica she thinks that it's less changing her mind and more her survival instincts kick thing i'm going to continue reading this it's easier to think that she probably wouldn't have changed her mind anyway right it's not healthy to think about the things you could have done differently so just remember that even though you could have saved her, it's technically not your fault she killed herself. I may have exploited it a little bit, but Sayori was already mentally ill. Still though, I wonder how things would be if you and I just started dating from the get-go. I guess we'd all still be in the classroom, writing poems and having fun together. But what's the point when none of it is even real? I mean, it's the same ending either way, right? The two of us happily together. There's no reason to ask for any more than that. I was just pointlessly musing. I'm really as happy as I could be right now. Why did you want to talk about that? That conversation was point needlessly graphic. I won't be able to get that picture out of my head. Just seeing seeing Sayori jumping from her chair and 
then all of a sudden choking herself as she tries to claw her way up to stop herself from dying and then just passing out. But that's apparently that's why she had blood on her hands. Uh, I don't like it. I want it to stop. If you ever have that thing happen where you just get anxious for no reason? Yes, that's right now. Except it's not for no reason. Okay, my weakness got the better of me. I'm done waiting for something creepy to happen. Like, this is all creepy enough. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start playing around with the files to see if, like, what, like, think about this. What if, after Monica deletes them, if you have another file of the game, what happens if you bring them back? I'm really interested to find out what happens, so I'm just gonna close you for a second, Monica. Do not get angry at me, please. Alright, now I'm gonna bring you back. Alright, so... What I'm gonna do... So, let's bring back Natsuki, Sayori, and Yuri. Let's see what happens. All the characters are back. Well, the characters are back in the game. I hate how hard it is to form habits. Why isn't anything happening? Like, you would expect that the game would just implement them back. Maybe after this, something weird might happen. Because remember, it took a while for Monica get, to get deleted. characters don't come back because the game's already broken. Like, Monica deleted the script, she deleted the world, so they don't have a script to run off of if they're not the leader of that world. So I should probably just delete them, just to get them out of the way. Alright. I don't actually have any other plans. I don't know what else to do. So let's just... Alright, so this... Is, I'm just gonna call this the Monica ending. This is the Monica ending. The trapped forever with Mo with Monica ending. So yeah, this is the trapped forever with Monica ending. Time for the lost ending. The lost ending to see. All right, so I just leave Monica. There we go. Monica's all glitchy. <laughs> Alright, so before I get the lost ending, I actually want to see what would happen if I bring back Monica. Like, when Monica's in a world that's deleted. What I don't get is that when you delete Monica, why does the room disappear? Yep, Monica doesn't exist. Monica doesn't exist. And you can like see like the the title screen, you can see like tiny little bits of the title screen pixelating. Uh this was sad for me because I was happy that I killed her, but I was also really sad because like, I killed her. She's gone. She's dead. And she's never coming back. Also, I love how the characters just now appear. They just magically appear. Let me go back. Nothing. Like the trace back is normal and everything's normal. Okay, so. Lost experiment. What happens if I bring back Monica?
if I bring back... Please stop playing with my heart. I don't want to come back. No way! If you bring Monica back, Monica deletes herself. She doesn't want to come back. But... Oh! Because the game is scripted to not let you fall in love with her. So if I if I bring her back, she's just gonna be back in a world that she doesn't get to fall in love with me. That's kinda sad because she'll never then she never gets the ending that she wants. That's horrible. Uh, now I'm feeling sorry for Monica, the girl that deleted all my favorite characters. I wish that there was some way, like, I'm sure one of the mod, uh, mods give you the Monica ending. It's an ordinary school day. I really wanted to thank you, but the truth is, I already knew that, I was, that you were going to. There actually is something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. She didn't say this last time. This isn't what she said. That's right. I know everything that she, I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Jake. I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. No, say you always become the new Monica. And you made me the happiest girl in the world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you forever. F O V R E. That's not how you spell forever. V E. No. Eh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts. Ah. I'm sorry. I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Jake. Goodbye, Literature Club. Monica deleted the Literature Club? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, can you hear me? <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, oh my god. So, you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff? And that is so sad. Like, at all. Because there is, there is happiness in the literature club. There is. There is happiness here. I got the good ending and I got the happiness that she thought that there was. Also, you can see tiny little bits of Monica there. To prove that I do know a song. I do actually know a song and I downloaded it and to prove it. Every day I dream of a future where I can be with you. In my hand is a pen of me and you. It flows down into a dark puddle. Just move your hand right your way into her heart. But in this world of infinite choices, what will it take just to find that special day? What will it take just to find that special day? I really love that song. There is happiness in this game, and I got the good ending. This end, this bad ending is really tearing me apart right now. But what's actually different? What's actually different about this ending? Because it... Remove image... Oh, that is cool. Image not found. That is actually really cool. So she's deleting the game and deleting everything. I guess it's kind of... It's 
kind of, it kind of tear, tears apart the players because all those happy moments that you spent with those characters, with the character that you wanted to get the good ending with, all of them are getting deleted. And the character does it, and those characters don't even know that it's happening. Like Natsuki and Yuri, they're all getting deleted without them even knowing. Yeah, I didn't get that good ending. I didn't get that ending. I didn't do that picture. Or that picture. <laughs> so it actually shows you that some pictures are lit up and some pictures aren't. Is it love? If I take your is it love? If I set you free? So I guess that's kind of the game's way of hinting you to do it. Like to go back and find those pictures. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness- Jake, can you use this in your tongue? Thank you for interrupting me, and yes, goodbye. Jimmy. No. Yes, I can, I just don't want to do it right now, I got two. Goodbye! This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the Literature Club is no- is a place- is a- is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a hor horrific reality, a reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo the same hellish empathy, epiphany. For the time it lasted, I wanted to thank you for making all my dreams come true. For being a friend to all of the members, the club members, and most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. That feels bad. That makes me feel bad. And then I, the game crashes. Yep, it crashes. Okay, so that was all of the endings in uh, Doki Doki Literature Club, so that was actually, that was really good. That was a really good video, and I'm going to uh, enlarge my face. <laughs> so yeah, that was really good. The, I love this visual novel so much, and I'm still going back to it. This isn't the end. <laughs> this isn't the end either. Even though I've seen all of the endings, this isn't the end, because... After a lot of thinking and arguing with myself, because I do not like mods, but after all of that, all of the thinking, I am going to go and check out the mods, because I've heard the mods The mods are very good. Uh, they are very entertaining and all that. Not to mention I'm going to go looking for any more secrets I can find. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please hit that like button, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button to see more amazing videos that are just like this one right here. And make sure you click, and make sure that you like, subscribe, just to continue building this amazing community. But thank you all so much for watching this video, I please hope that you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao!